Hopefully with this haircut, I could go and find a Filipino wife, huh? Oy, wow. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Do I sound like a robot? Exterminate. <laughs> and right now we're just using a warm towel to get all the dirt and the grime off. You're probably gonna have to fill this towel away after. <laughs> There's a lot of dirt on my face. <laughs> okay, Mike. You good? This is your magic mic. <laughs> magic mic. <laughs> magic mic. <laughs> don't, don't start stripping behind me, Mike. <laughs> Mike is our magic. But no stripping, huh? <laughs> what I thought I'll do today is take a relaxation day. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some facial treatment, get a nice haircut, maybe get a massage and really, really pamper myself. Believe me, your boy really needs it. And uh, my God, I really miss this place, man. Look at these beautiful, luxurious cars behind me. The luxurious buildings behind me. Look at this beautiful Maserati. God damn, that's a nice car. So I was researching what is the best barbers here in Manila and all the Philippines and only one came up. It's called Felipe and Son. It's five star rated on Google. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if it's really, really true and if they are really that good. Let's go. And here we go. We just arrived at Felipe and Son. Let's go ahead and get inside straight away. Beautiful looking shop as first impressions. Ah, nice, cool air conditioning. Hello, hello, how are you? Good, sure, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. I think you are Ali, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. I got an appointment with the head barber. Yes, sir, that will be Kevin. I just to confirm, you're getting a manscape, a combination of uh -huh. haircut and bridge sculpting and facial as well. Yes, please. Whatever you can do to make me look young. Yeah, okay. Uh, how about a uh, treatment of anti dandruff or hair spa as well? Let's do it. Okay, sir. Awesome. <clears throat> It's a beautiful shop, huh? Yeah, sure. Wow. We also sell uh, customized suits. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. Beautiful design, man. Look at that. My man has got his mask and he's got his beer in hand. Oof. Kevin. Kevin? How are you? Come on, Staka. You okay? Nice to meet you, sir. All right. Oof. So, this is where the magic happens, huh? <laughs> Amazing. Yes, sir, your friend of Jaggard, Harry Jaggard. Yes, yes, yes. Exactly. <laughs> I know, I show you, I saw you in a video. Oh, amazing. Yeah, in Manila, Bidondo. Oh, Tondo. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You are there. Exactly, yeah, yeah. yeah. We were together. <laughs> amazing. There you go, Harry. You got fans over here. <laughs> Uh, I'm Harry sorry about was leaving the, uh, today, uh, yesterday. Sorry? Harry is, was leaving yesterday or today? Yeah, he's leaving. <laughs> leaving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Had to know. I, I, yeah, I, I get this, uh, getting a cut uh, uh, you know, uh, Tuesday. Uh -huh. Yeah, before leaving. Uh, that, uh, really? Getting a oh, really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make sure to tell him to come back here. I want to look like this man, please. I'm in feed. So, uh, fade, uh, uh, yeah, fade, uh, maybe high fade if you can, uh, okay. just to take off all the grays, you know? Yeah. There's a lot of grays. And if you can, blend in the beard like this as well. Uh, so, blend the hair into the beard. Possible? Yeah. Thank you, sir. As you can see, we are starting the fade now. And uh, you can usually tell if it's going to be a good barber and it's a good haircut within literally the first five minutes. And I can tell this is going to be a good haircut, man. As you can see, the lines are looking good straight away. And I'm happy to see that the greys are going. Take them all off, Kevin. <laughs> the line used to start here before. Then slowly, slowly, as I get older, it's getting harder and harder. <laughs> it's going to be a Mohican haircut soon. <laughs> Later, we'll be like The Rock, huh? Just bold. <laughs> Hopefully with this haircut, I could go and find a Filipino wife, huh? Oh, wow, you're going to say something. <laughs> I hope. Work your magic, Kevin, please. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Kevin is a one of the good barber in the Philippines. You know? I could tell. Yes, I could already yes. tell. I could already tell. <laughs> yes, sir. I love the energy here, man. Yes, I like exactly. it. <laughs> and uh, actually, one of the things that I really like about the shop as well, guys, is everything's nice and organized, man. You can already tell it's going to be a good haircut. Nice, clean sink. Nice sharp set of scissors, everything's organized over there. Even the clippers are clipped on the side. I like it, man. This is a nice, nice shop over here. There you go. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Harry, yes. Yeah, he's a good uh, friend. Just continue your good doing here yeah. in the Philippines. Yes. Amazing. Yes. Um, anong panganang mo? Uh, sorry? Anong panganang mo? Pangalan. 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 Ah. 
Ray. Ray. Ray Mysterio in uh, Facebook, but Ray. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you, Ray. Nice, nice to, to meet you. I'm Ali. I'm Ali. Yes, yes. Nice to meet you, sir. Well, most welcome here. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, salamat, <laughs> salamat Kuya. Muhammad. Salamat Yo, Kuya, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> You're a legend. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> wow, this. You can probably just. I'll send you a picture and you can just like. A notification bell on as well, yeah? Yeah. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> man. You have been already in Barakay? Uh, not yet. No, I've, I've been like uh, two, three years ago. But not this time. I haven't had the chance yet. Yes, yes. It's uh, been a long, long time to research. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone keeps recommending Borakai. Oh, amazing. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yes. Let's take your time, sir. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. There you go, guys. Where, where else can you get this, man? This is a first class service, I'm telling you. You get a coffee, you get to chill out over here and talk to these friendly local barbers, man. Amazing. Yeah, but it's also sure. Sorry? Yeah, but it's also sure. Sure? Yeah. Suit. Oh, suits uh, as well, yeah? They, we are definitely going to get married after this then, huh? <laughs> you get a wedding suit and everything. <laughs> you can ask Mami Violi. <laughs> I've been trying to book an appointment here for two days, but you guys are always booked out, huh? Yeah, fully booked. Yeah, fully booked every day. That's how you can tell it's a good barber. And also, I saw, I saw your... You're getting a haircut here in a barber in the village. Oh, yeah, yeah. that's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This guy was drunk. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> drunk. He didn't want to cut my hair. Yeah, he didn't want to cut my hair. He was drunk. <laughs> Two days I got and he's drunk both days. So. <laughs> <laughs> drunk barber, that's why you. The best drunk barber. <laughs> the best drunk barber in the Philippines. <laughs> There's the appellator doing its work as well, man. The yeah, appellator is amazing, man. It really, really gets those gray hairs in every single hair gets completely cut out not many barbershops have this only in the west i've seen them in india i couldn't find them in sri lanka i couldn't find them so genuinely very happy to see this man and i reckon this coffee has had enough time to cool down a little bit as well let's go ahead and give it a try mm. that's a good coffee man that's a very good coffee much better than uh the burnt ones that you get in Starbucks or Costa. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell them. <laughs> the haircut is coming in really, really nicely. The fade is nice and high, exactly how I like it. And if you can see, it's blended in really, really well. The attention to detail here is amazing. Must have gone over the same line about three or four times. Really blended it in smoothly. And I'm just chilling here, listening to that sweet music in the background. I'm telling you, man, I really, really need it today, man. Just feeling like I'm being pampered over here. After the last three, four days of hard work, this is exactly what I needed today, man. Salamat kuya. <laughs> and right now, we're just using the scissors just to get those extra long hairs blended in as well. I haven't seen that technique in many places. I've only seen it in the Philippines. But to be honest with you, I really like it, man. It gets those uh, last little hairs that the machine couldn't get and uh, yeah just makes the blending in much nicer just moved on to the top hopefully it makes me look a little bit less loco loco hmm. <laughs> curly hair it's super curly like i don't do anything to it it just curls up by itself it's the i think it's the cheap uh, hotel shampoo that i use it just curls everything up do you work every day yeah seven days a week uh six days six days wow except my off and uh, what time you start? Uh, 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Oh, so long day, huh? Yeah. And how many customers every day for you? Yeah, seven to eight clients. Seven to eight. Yeah. That's a lot of work, man. For her, one, one hour per client. One hour? Yeah. Wow, okay. Cut remains and complementary massage. Massage as well? Yeah. And how, how did you learn to become a barber? Is it university? Do you take courses or you just learn on the job? Yeah, so uh, more experience. Ah, okay. oh, experience. Nice. Experience and, in uh, street barber. Street barber? Yeah. Oh, nice. I, I got a street barber haircut in... Uh, Toro. Toro. Toro, Toro. Toro, Toro. Yeah. What does Toro, Toro mean? 
Street barber. Street barber. Yes. I I got a street barber haircut maybe two weeks ago, in uh, Mall Ball. Mm -hmm. It was cool. It was just by uh, on the street side, cars behind you, coconut trees, mm -hmm. typhoon, rain, everything. <laughs> it was cool. <laughs> Fifty pesos per haircut when you started. Okay. Wow. And wh where did you do it? Uh, in Manila or? Um, in Mall Ball, Manila. Oh, I see, okay. And you worked yourself up to now yeah. becoming a head barber. That's awesome, man. Mm -hmm. I, I like to hear stories like this. I like the barber chef. Yeah. yeah. Just hard work and dedication, and you get pretty much anywhere you want to life. I like that, man. And uh, how old are you, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, 30. 30? Yeah. Okay. I started barbering at uh, 17 years old. Oh my god, wow. My uncle. <laughs> wow. My uncle was a barber. Wow. Uh, it's also a head barber in North Texas. And maybe one day you can open your own chain of barbershops. Yeah. That would be awesome, man. The haircut like. is basically done. And now you're going to get a quick rinse as well. I think this is probably the second time I've ever got my hair rinsed by someone. So, uh, should be good. Okay, Mike. You good? Yes. <laughs> rinse. Rinse. Work your magic. <laughs> <laughs> It's your magic mic. <laughs> magic mic. <laughs> magic rings. Yeah, don't, magic. don't start stripping behind me, Mike. <laughs> Mike is our magic. Well, no stripping, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not that type of tree. <laughs> Man, I'm telling you, I feel pampered today. Is this one just normal shampoo, Mike? Shampoo, just shampoo. Okay. okay. Shampoo. Smells nice. Shampoo. I'm used to the hotel shampoo, you know. It doesn't smell yeah. that good. <laughs> <laughs> this one shampoo. smells good. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a uh, cleaning bleach, huh? <laughs> but this one's good. This is massage your head. Yeah, this is good. I really need to start taking care of my hair. Oh, that's, nice. oh, that's perfect. I feel nice and fresh. Oof, fresh snappers. <laughs> <laughs> Boom, we're back, baby. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. What's this one for? Okay. Oh, to open up the pores? Yeah. see. This is the first time I got a hot towel. Not had one before. Before the whole smoke. Ah, okay. Man, I feel so pampered right now. <laughs> I don't know about you guys watching at home, but man, I feel so relaxed. Sitting here, chilling, getting a proper treatment. I'm loving this. You know, that's the phone? Yeah. Yeah. Shaving foam. Oh, this is a cool one. Yeah. So warm Close. before. Just the first. Ah, oh, see. So this one closes the pores. Mm. I see. Okay. 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 Let's go, cool machine. So this is a steamer. I've never seen one of these, to be honest. Look at this, it's got like a little, uh, it's kind of like a kettle, almost. It's boiling the water out there. And there you go, we've got steam coming out. <laughs> it's so cool. Wow. 
immediately feel that it's like a lot of humidity. It's, uh, it's almost like being outside in the Manila right now. <laughs> so I'm not sure what this does, but I'm assuming it's going to open up the pores again, get all that dirt and grime out as well. And believe me, there is a lot of it. As you know, all I do is uh, just use water to clean my face. So uh, it's going to be like a deep, deep cleansing. This one, the uh, treatment. A treatment for the hair? Yeah, stop. What, what will it do to my hair? Just uh, like revitalize it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's not going to make it red, no? It's not color. <laughs> I already look loco loco. I don't need to look. <laughs> I've never been this pampered in my life, man. I've got a shave, a haircut. My face is getting steamed right now. My hair is getting treatment as well. It's just so relaxing, man. Hopefully, it's satisfying for you guys to watch as at home as well. I don't use anything. Usually, just water. <laughs> You could probably tell. <laughs> right now we're just using a warm towel to yeah. get all the dirt and the grime off. You're probably going to have to fill this towel away after. <laughs> There's a lot of dirt in my face. <laughs> and after that nice moisturizing facial treatment, now we get in a facial scrub, yeah. just to really, really get in those pores, get all the dirt and the grime out. There's 32 years worth of dirt in there, so <laughs> lather it up, my man. <laughs> Play master. Oh, I see. Okay, here we go. This is, I think, the third or fourth time. treatment. Yeah. Wow. Man, this is something which I'm really liking here. The attention to details, honestly impeccable. The haircut, the fade, the shave, two sets of blade. This is like the third or fourth treatment. And between each one of them as well, it's like a hot towel. So nothing is rushed. They really take their time. And uh, yeah, I'm loving it here, man. Shave this part. Oh yeah, please. Uh, I, got, I got a hairy neck. Yeah. <laughs> It connects all the way to the back. <laughs> and here we are right now. This is the final stage of the facial. Just removing all the clay off. Uh, this time with a cold towel, yeah? Nice. And there you go, guys. All that gray that you can see on the towel, it's not actually the clay, it's the dirt from my face. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Yeah. I feel like a baby. <laughs> Smooth as a baby's bottom. Of course, it's your day. <laughs> Today is my day. Yeah. So, my day also. <laughs> your day. <laughs> so obviously some of you guys are probably thinking this is over the top treatment and uh, I agree with you. I don't ever get this. This is the first time I ever got this. And uh, I think you need to treat yourself every once in a while, man. If you're working hard, if you're always studying or just doing a nine to five or just working late hours, take some time off, really treat yourself, re-energize yourself and uh, yeah, really look after yourself, man. Uh, back with Magic <laughs> Mike, huh? <laughs> magic Mike, Magic Prince. Work your magic again, Mike. <laughs> My head feels so nice and cool after that treatment as well. It's uh, it's like kind of like a menthol type of thing in that treatment. So now the water is just making it extra cool. It's like the only way I can describe it is like having toothpaste on your skin. It's just so nice, soothing, relaxing, and of course super super clean. This is probably as clean as I've been in my life. <laughs> Thank you. 
Ooh. Feeling fresh? Yeah. Right now is the final step, which is uh, just to get rid of all that hairy neck. I'm not even joking, it literally connects from my head down to my neck, down to my back that can crack. <laughs> This is the final step of the hair treatment as well. We're going to be doing an anti dandruff treatment. Believe me, I need it, man. With that drying shampoo that I use in the hotel. <laughs> this, uh, yeah, every time I fluff my hair up, it's like snowing, man. It's just so much dandruff. <laughs> Massage as well. Getting all the temple areas, all the stress points. It's so relaxing. <laughs> all that tension from punching over the laptop, editing. All going. Everyone's getting a head cheat, but huh? <laughs> I'm not surprised, man. It feels so good. This is my first time, but if I lived here, this wouldn't be my last time. It feels so good. Now I understand why you are the head barber as well. Everything's been great, man. The hair, the shave. Massage achievements. Oh my god. <laughs> Do I sound like a robot? <laughs> Exterminate. Exterminate. <laughs> so I just sound massage. like a robot, huh? <laughs> yeah. So just massage. Oh my god. This feels amazing. It's like a it's kinda like those Indian guns that they used when I was back in Delhi. But they use it on your head, but here it feels much better on the body. On the head, you feel like you're getting a concussion. This feels so good, man. Oh my god. This is a pamper and a half, man. I didn't expect half of these services, but this is amazing. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is what you call a first class service. This is probably the best barbering experience I've had in my life. Now I understand why people do this, man. It's so relaxing. Shoulders, and now the back and chops. This is literally what all my attention is. I'm usually sitting like this in front of my computer for like five, six hours. So this is getting it right in there. Man. I need to buy one of these guns back at home. Feels good. like and subscribe like and subscribe there you go go Ali <laughs> there you go guys you heard it from Kevin <laughs> the head barber <laughs> go with Ali cross to Philippines and mama <laughs> and finally of course we are getting it styled as well pomade pomade this yeah. one yeah Stronghold, medium shine. Because I usually use whatever the strongest one so I can create a fake hairline, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Until I go turkey and sort out my hairline, it's just extra strong wax for me. <laughs> 
So there you go guys, look at this man. I got a nice haircut, massage, and your boy's feeling fresh man. So let's go ahead and pay. And then after that, I'll go and say thank you to those guys and give them a little tip. It was amazing, I loved it. The haircut was good, the shave was good, the massage was amazing. Hope you like Every it. single thing. So that will be 3535 for your facial, manscape, and anti dandruff shirt. Amazing, thank you sir. Here you go sir Ali, thank amazing. you so much. Thank you so much sir. Uh, let me go ahead and say thank you to those guys, man. They did an amazing job. Let me go ahead and get my cap. No, yeah, <laughs> my dusty, sweaty cap. <laughs> thank you so much for that, Kevin. I appreciate you, my brother. And uh, just a small little tip for you, my brother. Thank you so much. You really looked after me today, man. Of course. Yes. <laughs> Yes, thank you, thank you, Amazing. sir. Thank you, right. And uh, for you as well, my brother. Well, thank you. Thank you for looking after me. Yes. Sir. And uh, where's Magic Mike as well? <laughs> yes. Uh, thank you as well, Mike. Thank you for looking after me, my brother. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you, my brother. Thank you, thank you so much. Yeah. Take care, you guys. Yeah. Subscribe you, all my friends. I tell I appreciate you, my brother. <laughs> yes. uh, hopefully, I will see you guys soon. Yes. Yeah. If I'm back in BGC, I will come and check you out again. Just so you guys win this. Oh, for Harry Hagar, just regards to your friend, I knew him before. I appreciate it, man. You guys made my day. No, Thank you so much. Take care. Thank you, sir. Bye-bye, bye-bye. Yeah. Awesome. What a wholesome experience that was, man. And uh, as well as that, if you guys are here, and uh, as you can see, we also do tailoring, suits. We have shirts over there as well. So if you are looking for your Filipino wife, come get your haircut here, as well as that, get a massage and get your suit as well. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Have a good day, yeah? Alright. Oh, what an amazing experience that was man and your boy is looking and feeling super super so uh, how long was that so i went in there at uh, 1 p.m i was expecting to be there for about i don't know 15 minutes oh my god right now you won't believe this right now it is half three so we've been in there for Two hours and a half so oh my god two hours and a half and that cost me three thousand uh filipino pesos so how much is that i think that's 60 bucks something like that probably a little bit more what an amazing price that was so if you was in the west i reckon you could probably easily pay about three four times as much as that if you're getting a massage getting a shave getting a haircut and every single uh, treatment you can think of literally whatever treatment they offered me i said yes man because today is my pampering day obviously i don't usually do these kind of treatments today was like a special treat and again this is all thanks to you guys man if it wasn't for you i'd probably be stuck in my normal nine to five job not able to afford these kind of things so uh yeah again this is all down to you guys and what an amazing story that was as well from uh, kevin and the other boys man so they started cutting haircut on the street corner literally if you see my previous videos where raymond was cutting hair on the side of the street literally people behind you raining and everything else and kevin said he was charging 50 pesos for every single haircut so uh, you can imagine it's tough to make ends meet with that kind of uh, price but what an amazing story he worked himself up from a street barber all the way to becoming one of the best barbers here man and he is the head barber right now in Felipe and Sons so uh, there you go man if you wanted a little inspiration story about where hard work and dedication will get you that is a story right there man and uh, if you guys are ever in the BGC area and uh, you are in need of some pampering and in need of a haircut definitely come and check out Mike Magic Mike uh, Ray and obviously the man the maid the legend Kevin as well man they did an amazing job and what awesome guys they were as well so guys i'm gonna go ahead and end the video right here if you are enjoying the content that i'm making here in the philippines and in manila please do subscribe and follow i'm making content from literally all over the country completely based on your recommendations so if there's somewhere that you want me to go or is there somewhere you want me to visit please comment it down below and i will see you in the next video salamat